Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. Rule 42, propulsion, is a complex rule, so we're covering it in two separate videos. Part one discussed rules 42.1 and 42.2. This video covers rule 42.3, exceptions. For this video, we assembled a variety of resources to help explain and interpret Rule 42. The World Sailing Document on Interpretations of Rule 42 is particularly important. We also found some good videos with examples. See our post on salesing.com for links to all these references. Before we get into Rule 42.3, let's do a brief review of 42.1 and 42.2. Here's 42.1. Remember that any action that clearly propels the boat is prohibited, unless it is called out as an exception in 42.3. We'll see that there are very few exceptions that will actually allow you to propel the boat. Rule 42.2 lists prohibited actions. Repeated pumping is prohibited even if it does not propel the boat. Flicks of the sail due to body or sheet movement indicate pumping. Repeated rolling of the boat using body movement, sail trim, or steering is prohibited. However, rolling caused by gusts, lulls, waves, or static crew position is permitted. Ooching is not permitted except in college sailing. The college sailing document allows ooching only to initiate planing or surfing. Torquing is not permitted in flat water, but is okay in waves when used to climb and descend a wave. Sculling is prohibited. We'll talk about a significant exception shortly. Repeated tacks or jibes are prohibited unless they are in response to changes in the wind or tactical considerations. Now for the exception. As we'll see, these exceptions are primarily to the prohibited actions in 42.2, not to the basic rule. 42.3 alpha allows rolling the boat to facilitate steering. The world sailing interpretation Rock 6 describes what's acceptable. You can heel to windward to bear off and heel to leeward to head up. However, the heeling must be consistent with the turn. Rock 7 reminds us that repeated rolling not linked to wave patterns is still prohibited by 42.2 Bravo, even if the boat changes courses with each roll. Let's look at some examples from the RYA video. And this is rocking or rolling without turning the boat. And you can see at the moment, Iona is healing the boat to windward, but turning upwind. Now she's healing it to leeward and turning downwind. So the rolling is not associated with steering and is only there to facilitate fanning of the sail through the air and making the boat go faster. So this could well get her a penalty. You can see quite big movements of the sail. Now we'll have a look at what happens when we do it properly. She heals the boat to leeward. She trims her mainsail on and she brings the boat flat again. She heals it to windward. She bears away gently. She ears the, eases the mainsail out, all of which is associated with turning the boat. And again, nice and smooth. You can see a nice gentle turn, gentle roll, and it's all about steering the boat. All the time, the mainsail is adjusted. 42.3 Bravo allows exaggerated rolling to facilitate steering through attack or jibe. Take a moment to read the rule. Note that the boat's speed just after the tack or jibe must not be greater than if you didn't tack or jibe. Here are the interpretations. Rock 8 simply restates the rule. Rock 9 allows you to roll the boat to windward of vertical at the completion of a tack or jibe. Basic 6 reminds us that after the tack is completed, Rolling the boat to propel it is prohibited. Basic 7 notes that if the boat speed clearly drops after the tack or jibe, this indicates that you have propelled the boat and thus violated the basic rule. Here's an example from the fin class video. 
42.3 allows to exaggerate the rolling through a tack or a jar. However, tack ends when a boat is on a close hold course, and if a last rock is delayed, the exception does not apply anymore, and the rock, if it clearly propels the boat, breaks the basic rule 42.1. 42.3 Charlie addresses pumping to facilitate surfing, planing, or foiling downwind. Take a moment to read the rule. In summary, you can pump the sails once for each wave or gust to initiate surfing or planing. You can pump repeatedly to initiate foiling. This only applies when surfing, planing, or foiling is possible. Here are the interpretations. Pump 7 allows one pump for surfing or planing when conditions are marginal, even if the pump is unsuccessful. Pump 8 says that a second unsuccessful pump puts you in the yellow light area. A third pump is prohibited. Pump 9 allows you to pull each sail at a different time. Pump 10 says that this exception applies even if surfing or planing is only possible at your boat's location. Pump 11 points out that surfing or planing conditions are different for different boats and crew weights. Pump 12 states that once you are surfing or planing, this exception does not apply. Here are some examples from the RYA video. Is pumping the main sheet going downwind? First, first scenario is very common when it's almost planing conditions and you can see Iona does a big pump on the mainsail to try and get the boat on the plane, but the bow stays stuck to the water and doesn't overtake its own bow wave. She's going to try again and again she does accelerate, but she's still not managed to overtake her bow wave, so she hasn't successfully planed and that puts her in the yellow light zone. This third pump, again, unsuccessful and that gets her the penalty for repeated pumping. Now you can see she's actually planing downwind on a reach but the rule says that you can only pump to promote or facilitate surfing or planing. So once she's already planing, she's not allowed to pump. And so she can get a penalty here for pumping whilst planing. 42.3 Delta addresses sculling. Take a moment to read the rule. Skull 1 adds a little depth to the rule. You can skull from head to wind down to a close hauled course on either tack and even gain speed while doing so. Skull 2 says that once you skull down, you can't then skull in the other direction as part of the same maneuver. Skull 3 says you can't skull to offset the steering effect caused by backing a sail. Case number 8 in the World Sailing Casebook allows repeated movements of the tiller to position the boat to gain in waves. The movements must not be forceful. Here are some examples, first from the RYA video. Rule 42 that allows you to scull down to a close hold course. You can see here, Ion is using big forceful movements to the tiller, but it's taking her well below a close hold course. That sculling could get her a penalty because she's not allowed to do that. You can see again, she comes back up with a slow turn. Big, big sculls taking her well below close hold gets her a penalty. Next, you can see she's lined up beside the committee boat in a very common maneuver where she's trying to hold her position. Unfortunately, because she's using those forceful tiller movements to scull in both directions, the exception is turned off and she could get a penalty for sculling. And another example from the fin class video. Sculling down while backing the sail is not turning the boat to a close hold course, but propelling it to windward. Therefore, it is not allowed. The situation doesn't change if you are bucking the sail with your body instead of your hand. 42.3 finishes with some miscellaneous exceptions which are worth noting. Part echo allows repeated pumping to correct an inverted batten as long as it doesn't propel the boat. Part foxtrot allows you to reduce speed by repeatedly moving the helm. Part golf allows any means of propulsion to help a vessel or person in danger. Part hotel allows you to use force to break free from a grounding or a collision. Engines are prohibited unless stated in the sailing instructions. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. 
If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.